In today's video, I will show you how to play the newest character in Multiverses, Gizmo. I want to show you how to use his basic attacks and specials, and then I will show you the best way to use Gizmo, and then which perk you should use at the end of the video. So, stay, keep on watching till the end of the video, and let's just get into it. Alright guys, now I'm going to be showing you how to do the basic moves with Gizmo. So, let's just get into it. So, if you do forward X, then you will just do a basic attacking combination. Pretty good, actually. Then, as you can see, there is I would did up X at the end, and these popcorn things launched out. I don't think they do much. I've tested it out. They don't do much, I think. Uh, unless if you're like right under your opponent and attacks, it does a bit of damage to them. But I can show you how you can make it very useful uh, later on in the video when I talk about combos. So now, uh, if so, yeah. So basic attack is just front X. And it's pretty good attack. So now, if you hold an X, you could shoot a bow and arrow. And obviously, you gotta wait for it to recharge, but it pretty, does pretty good damage and burns them for a bit. And I can show you guys how you can make it much more useful later on in the video, so keep on watching. So that's basically what you do. Up X is to launch the popcorn thingy out. To hold down X, you launch out music notes and there is a number above the enemy if it hits them so if you keep up if you get them all the way to eight this is what happens all right four five six seven eight they are completely silenced and they cannot attack you till uh it goes away and now it's gone, so now they can attack you. So that is very useful, but it's I don't think you should use it much because it's really hard. Uh, like, I mean, you're going to have to get eight of those on them, and they're not just going to be standing around like Shaggy is here. So it's, it's, it could be useful, though, if you're against a bot. So now let's A is just as a normal jump, and double A is double jump. So pretty basic. I think really else you could do with A. But now if we jump in the air, then press down X and keep on doing it. And Gizmo like attacks down with his feet and it is really OP. Just watch. I'm going to go right above him. Now, it's really OP. Wait, I'm just not getting this. Let's just do reset. I'm going to get high up in the air. You see, that just did 15 damage right there, just doing that simple attack. So, you are, you, I recommend using this move a lot, because it is going to help you get uh, your opponents right out of the ring. So, I recommend using it a lot. Now, just pressing Y, you let out a music note. And as you guys know, the music notes, if the, per if the enemy gets to 8 of them, then he is silenced. So, you're going to want to do 4... Oh, wait, wait, no, 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 not 4. Uh, I'll touch on that, uh, the car thing later. So, you're gonna do... Right, so, up Y is just to do an up attack. If you got your opponent, like, high up in the air, then you should definitely do up Y, because it'll, like, get them right out of the ring. And it'll help you out. So now we're up in the air, and... Oh, wait, wait, right. I just remembered. So if you hold in Y, then music notes will just come out. <laughs> And Gizmo is just singing, and if all eight of those hit your opponent, then uh, they will be silenced. And it could be pretty good, but I recommend not really using it much. Now, we got the super OP theme, which you should use a lot. So, if you do down Y, Gizmo gets into a car, you can just drive at your opponent and does a lot of damage. And then if you you could just jump out and let it go at them, then just go into a fighting combo, which is really good. And I recommend using this whatever chance you get. And your he your opponent could break it, but I mean it's quite hard for them to do it. And it, it's pretty good. It's like the most OP thing in the game right now. So I recommend using that whenever it is possible to use. And now. I'm gonna show you a few more stuff. So, if you um, do forward Y while you're in the air, you could do a like umbrella attack, 
and that will boost them out. So let me just demonstrate. Let's just get them out, out of here. Okay. See how much? You see how far back that knocked him? And so it is really OP if you do that. And also, if you you press forward Y. Wait, I'm messing up here. Okay. So you gotta jump up in the air, press forward Y, and then hold it in, and you'll be able to fly. So look. You'll just be able to float in the air with your umbrella. Which will be really useful if your opponent knocked you way out of the ring and you gotta get back. And that's basically all his attacks. There is one more thing that isn't really useful. You do down Y, I think. You could stay in the chest, and you gotta hold down Y to, to continue. This th What happens here is, if your opponent, let's say, throws at you a sandwich or any projectile, then you just have a shield, as you can see here, there's a yellow barrier, and they can't hit you, but that's just projectiles, and I don't re recommend using it at all. It'll probably just get you knocked out. So yeah, guys, that is the basic moves that you could do with Gizmo. Now I'm going to be showing you guys the uh, attack combos that you could do that will help you get your egg, guys. So now I'm going to be showing you some combos that you could do with Gizmo to make him way more powerful. So, as I showed you guys earlier, if you do up X, shoot out popcorn, so now what I, I'm going to show you guys that you can do, if you hold an X to the bow and arrow and you aim it at the popcorn, shoot at it, it does way more damage and it blows the popcorn up, and then it'll do just way more damage to the player and it'll make the popcorn thing useful. So yeah, I think at every start of the game you should just start off with that, do a few, then just shoot out your bow and arrow, and then you'll get a pretty good start, and then just do it, shoot at two and then just do it again and you'll get a great advantage and I think it is really useful. Also something I forgot to show you guys in the normal attacks, if you, get, if you jump up in the air and then do down Y, Gizmo just falls down on them and that's basically just like the down X, but I think it's a bit better and it is really useful. So I think try to do that just up, up A, down Y and yeah it does a lot of damage. So, now let's do some combos to get your enemies out. So, when you're in the car, just I, I recommend just keep on hitting your opponent until they get break the car. And if they, you see they're about to break the car, just jump out, let the car go straight at them, and just to get a bit of extra damage done. And trust me guys, use the car whenever you can. It is very useful and it'll help you win a lot of games. So now, uh, let's go on to the perks that I recommend you for you to use. So, the re perk I recommend you, you, you to use, it's really the only good one, is the Bounce Bounce Boom. It, basically what it does is Gizmo's Air Down special can bounce off of his popcorn and his toy card to detonate them instantly. So I'll show you guys. Why does it show that? Okay, so I'm gonna go up into the air, down Y, and it in instantly explodes the car. So I can do that with the pop with the popcorn as well. So look. Wait. You see? Landed on it and it instantly exploded it. And I think you could use that a lot and it'll really help you out. So that's the perk I recommend you guys use. And that's about it. I Gizmo just came out yesterday, so I don't know too much about him, but Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Gizmo. Comment down below if you want more tutorials when new characters come out. I'll see you guys in the next